Welcome in this video we're going to take a quick look at Veeam Cloud Connect uh, importantly as a way to implement your 321 backup strategy and make sure you've got a copy of your backups off-site. Um, so we're going to start by looking inside the Veeam console um, and uh, what we want to do is add a service provider um, that we have an agreement in place to be able to copy our backups from our on-premises Veeam servers up to the cloud. So we're going to choose backup infrastructure and then from the menu on the left we're going to choose service providers. Click add service provider. Um, we then need to fill in the details that you will have been given from your service provider starting with the DNS name of where the Cloud Connect repository is that you're going to be connecting to. So we've completed that, going to click next. We now need to make sure that uh, they are who they say they are. We've got a certificate being given back there for security purposes and we need to fill in the credentials that we will have been given when we signed up with that Cloud Connect uh, partner. So once we've done that, it goes through an authorization just to make sure that we are who we say we are and we have permission to access that repository. As you can see, we've got one terabyte of space here uh, in the cloud repository that we're connecting to. Um, so we're just going to go next. It will then go through and set up our connection to that repository. Um, so we're then able to then start utilizing that inside Veeam. So if we now go up to backup repositories within the infrastructure there, we can now see that we have our cloud repository listed. Um, and obviously we can see the amount of space that we've got uh, that has been provided by our Veeam Cloud Connect provider. So we're now going to do a copy job. So if we go over to uh, backup and replication uh, and we select the backup copy option, this is set up in a very similar way to the way that we would do it even if we were copying to another location on premises. We set the options for how often we want to copy the files up there. We then need to go through and select what are we copying up there. Uh, we've obviously got a number of different sources, whether that's direct, direct from infrastructure, from backups, or from a job. So I've just selected from my backups, and I'm going to go and select one of my backup jobs as a source for where I'm going to get the virtual machines from. We can obviously exclude certain VMs here and tweak it as we need to, but as we go through, we're now going to select the repository that we want to uh, copy the backup jobs to. So I've selected my uh, cloud provider here, and we're also able to implement a hierarchical back backup methodology at this point. So how many iterations do you want to keep over a period of weeks, months, quarters, or even years? We can use the WAN accelerator where that's been configured and we're also able to set a schedule whether the backup copy job just is always going to run or whether we only want to run out of hours or during hours to save on bandwidth. We're now going to enable that job, click finish and that job will now run as per the set schedule.